Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the Colonel. Oh, hey. Hey, I was just getting some stuff ready. Glad you could join us today. How are you? How Good. Are you, Bella? How are you? Finer than a frog hair. Oh. Have you ever seen a frog hair? Frogs don't have hair. It's because they're so fine. Oh. Finer than a frog hair. <laughs> so. <laughs> I've you don't never live heard. Long. We're in the final uh, home stretch for you, right? Yep, You'll we be are. Off to college. I know. So we're gonna try to do a flurry of videos here, uh, here this week, for you, with you, and all. Cause I really enjoy. And I, I'm gonna embarrass you right now, but I just want to uh -oh. tell you how much I appreciate doing these with you. Thanks. <laughs> That's not you. embarrassing. <laughs> well, you're gonna make your daddy cry. I guess I'm embarrassed. You're making yourself <laughs> cry. <laughs> I'm just standing uh, behind the camera. Do, I know, but it's nice. It's been nice doing these with you. So, gonna miss you. Everybody's gonna miss you, Bella. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, what we're gonna do today? So, um, I made. If you remember, if you go back, I have a video on fried bologna sandwiches. Mm-hmm. Quite and popular. Yeah, pretty popular. You had never <laughs> had fried bologna sandwich, had you? Nope. And really, you've never had. And some people brought up that and talked about that and said, well, what about Spam? And you had never really had Spam before. I've had you? Spam. Well, you tried it once on a lark, I think about 10 years ago. No, you made it for me when Mama was gone. Remember, <laughs> you made that giant Bella <laughs> special. That's the only time. Yes, I do. I do now. Yeah, I fried up yeah. some Spam. Yeah, and you didn't like it. It was well, all it was, right. Well, it was too much like meat and fried yeah right? uh-huh that was a yeah uh, that, is that what i call it a bell special yeah you said it was a giant one but it wasn't a true it uh, wasn't a true bell special <laughs> i have to say we're gonna, well we're gonna have spam and eggs and some other things too to add a little color we're gonna throw in some bell peppers and all real simple meal tonight um I think before that, uh, I don't even know if you had had spam before, had you? Probably not. Yeah, I think I made it for your um, for your brothers one time um, on a lark, and then before that, the last time I had it, I think my mom made it for us. We used to have it quite a bit back in the day. Um, spam, she'd just fry up slices of spam, and we'd have that with with rice or whatever. Um, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna have some uh, some spam. And eggs tonight, right? So spam, what is spam? You know what spam is? A uh, lump of stuff. <laughs> well, <laughs> a lump of stuff. That doesn't need some. Would you eat something like that? This says spam ingredients. Pork with ham. So it's pork has some ham in it, okay? So pork could be anything on a pig, right? Like the eyelids and the ear, ear tips and... No, that's probably not true. No, no, they don't Ooh. eat that. But uh, salt water, modified potato starch, sugar, sodium nitrate. Maybe that's so. It's maybe it's um, salt and potato starch and ham, right? Pork and ham, spam. Well, what nitrate. were the first two ingredients? Uh, pork with ham. So that means that, so they list them in order. Did you know that? They yeah, list them in order, that's what like I was the, saying. The, the most, first two ingredients yeah. are the most. Uh, pork with ham and salt have the most. Yeah, so salt's that's the next best thing. So, yeah, this <laughs> this ranks pretty high up on the uh, sodium o meter. Uh, thirty four percent of your daily one slice is thirty four percent of your daily uh, salt intake. So, oh, yeah, spam light might be better for you if you're kind of salt conscious, whatever. So, um, really, I like to think of this as um, this is like uh, Han Solo frozen in carbonite. This is ham that has been processed and put in a can like Han Solo in Return of the Jedi. You, you've seen that movie before, right? Of course. Of course. This is so. a Star Wars family. <laughs> How could you ask me that? But that's not very appetizing. Why would you, why would you well, it's describe just, it, it like it that? It kind of came about from World War II, you know, around that time. I mean, they kind of were looking for ways to preserve food and, and so they kind of put this processed ham, and that's kind of what it looks like in the can here. And you kind of shake it out, and you can uh, and 
All right. Ooh. <laughs> doesn't sound. But you don't, you don't listen for the food, you know? So it, it kind of comes, it's got a... I don't know. A, Everybody says they like the crackle on this channel of like meats and stuff. Oh, of cooking? Well, you're going to hear some of that today. So um, what we've got here. So what I'm going to do, I just shook it right out of the can. It's got like a gelatinous... Uh, protective covering on it or whatever it's it's probably just vegetable gel uh covering to help preserve it i'm just gonna kind of wash that off a little bit so, so you got the smell meter on um do they well, want to smell, smell this, this? Well, you smell it you tell them what you what you're smelling smell oh. that. what's it smell like meat <laughs> meat all i'm gonna do is cut it in slices. Now, like I said, my mom, when my mom used to make this, she, Bella, she would cut this up in slices and uh, just like this and fry it in the frying pan and we'd have that, that was our meat. Um, so during World War II, you know, that's really kind of where this came about, you know, and then of course back in the, in the 50s as well. So mom, uh, yeah, I guess they ate this a lot back in the day. All I'm gonna do is, is I wanna just kind of dice this up. So, course it makes it real nice it just kind of just stays there as I cut through with this sharp knife I've got an onion a uh, onion a uh, onion that's like my worst pet peeve <laughs> what is that it's when people don't say n onion or n orange something like that oh yeah and they so, go a uh, orange well you know what that makes you what grammar Nazi right is that what you are mm-hmm you just like precise. All I'm doing is just I'm trying to dice this up, just kind of get it in uh, little squares here. So I'm gonna do. I've got a, my, my my cast iron frying pan heating up now, and all I'm gonna do is just kind of I'm gonna brown this up in there. I put a little bit of oil in there, but I'm gonna just fry it in there with some uh, onions. I, I've got half an onion I cut up. There it is, right there. See it. And I've got uh, a green pepper, and I've got a red pepper. I'm going to show you how I how I dice up a, a bell pepper here in a second, as soon as I kind of get this in. So I'm going to kind of put this in and get this going. Got a little bit of oil in there just to kind of help it. Kind of brown this up, kind of got it on medium heat. Now I'll come back over here. I've got uh, some onions. I've got uh, half an onion. I'm going to put that in there too because I just want to cook it all together. I'm going to add my eggs last because the eggs cook pretty quick. I like the green onion, it uh, adds a nice color. I think that's probably about all we're going to need. I think I'll save that. So that's one green bell pepper. Uh, I'll probably use about half of it there. I'm gonna use about half of this red one here too. Got my, uh, somebody mentioned this before, Bella, when you were making your cookies, is to have a GB garbage, garbage bowl. bowl. Yeah, so uh, I got that going there, thank you, who, who suggested that. That's gonna go out to feed, help feed our forest friends that's my, it's like King Kong. You ever, you ever seen that movie? Yes. Why are you disgracing me? <laughs> Dis disgracing you? Is I'm that a word? You. Yes. Um, Thinking I haven't seen all these movies. Well, I'm just, well, I'm Critical you, yeah, movies. Of you have. Yes, you have. So uh, it's like when they put the, you know, the, the girl out for King Kong as a uh -huh. sacrifice. That's what I do with the, with the, with the GB contents here. A put it sacrifice? out for King Kong. Yeah, for the deer, so they'll leave my plants alone. Right? <laughs> Has it we been gone working? For a little while and, and I hadn't done that for a while, and they ate some of my peanut plants. But over. has it been working when you are here? It works when I'm here, yeah. Hmm. Mm. So okay, so so get in on this, Bella. So I'm gonna. This is how I cut a bell pepper, and, and this is the way I like to do it, and I get the most from it. All right, so I just cut right across the top, about half an inch up from the top. Okay. 
And this green thing then kind of just pops right out. I just grab it by the stem or back here and just kind of pop it out. Goes in the GB. Um, now, if you look here, see see how the core is and the white part there. So I'm not a big fan of the white part. I'll cut right along, straight down, right? Kind of get the cut the the white part there, and I kind of cut straight down along the side, right along the white part, and it just cuts the core out, right? See that? And then I come on the bottom here. And let's get that last little bit. So there's all my seeds and the core and everything else. And all I'm left with is, uh, is uh, yeah, there's a seed or two, but very few seeds. And now I got them in these long strips and I just cut them up strips and then it's, it makes me easier for easier to uh, dice them up. That's the way I like to do it. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Keep stirring this up. Keep this going. Ooh. Now, because there's so much salt in the spam, I'm not going to add any salt to this at all. All right, not even to the eggs, nothing, because I think the spam in it's going to be plenty enough. Just kind of keep this up, keep this browning up. And come back to the dicing this up. I'm going to get about half of it. Nice sharp. So I got a joke for you. You want to hear it? Sure. Okay. So cowboy walks into a bar, and he walks in the door, walks up to the bar, and there's nobody in there. It's completely empty except the bartender. He's in there wiping the glass down, and cowboy goes, "Ah, oh, have a drink." So he gets a drink. Cowboy goes, "This is a pretty nice place. Where is everybody? It's like should be normally it was a hopping time of the day. Normally there's a lot of people in there. Why are there? Why is there nobody in here?" And the bartender goes, well, everybody's at the hanging. And the cowboy goes, well, who are they hanging? They're hanging Brown Paper Bill. Brown Paper Bill, what a strange name for a cowboy. He goes, for a, for a, for a bandit. You know, somebody can hang him going, wow. Cowboy sits there for a little bit thinking about it. And he goes, well, that's, that, he doesn't sound very fierce. What, it, what uh, why do they call him Brown Paper Bill? And he said, well, he's got brown paper, he wears a brown paper hat and a brown paper shirt and brown paper pants and brown paper shoes. Everything he wears is made out of brown paper. And the cowboy's like, goodness gracious, well, I've never heard of that. And then the cowboy goes, well, what in the world are they hanging him for? And he said, rustling. <laughs> oh my goodness. Isn't that good? It's cute. It's <laughs> cute. It's cute. All right, so here's that's about half the red peppers there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and get those in. That's about well, that's probably actually. You know what? I like the red bell pepper, so I'm gonna put all of them in there. Is that all right? I'm crazy like that, Bella. You know well, what I'm I like the red ones too. Yeah. Let's cut these up. Dice these up. I need to sharpen this knife up a little bit more. You know, that's the thing about a knife. You want it real sharp, because if you cut yourself, a really sharp knife doesn't hurt as bad. Did you know that? Really? Yeah. And a dull knife hurts? Yeah, oh yeah, because it, it, it makes it does a lot more damage. A really sharp knife cuts real smooth smooth and precise. Now, you you can cut stuff off with a sharp knife. Very colorful, isn't it? Yes. I'll just keep stirring it Gordon around. Ramsay would be proud. Oh, would he? You think so? <laughs> see, we got some of it's browning up here. So you see the little brown parts of the spam? Uh huh. So I'll kind of keep stirring it around and cooking it real good. Well, then again, I don't know if Gordon Ramsay would ever cook with spam. You don't think he would? I don't know. Is he too, uh, too, uh, that's too bourgeois for him? Maybe. So the last thing we're going to do is um, move this out of the way. So that's it. I mean, it's pretty much what you want in there. I mean, if you want to put some jalapenos in there or uh, other things, really, it's whatever you like in your eggs. And I'm going to just, uh, let's see, there's three of us.
two each. You said three for seven, me. right? Seven, yeah. So we'll crack seven. So I'm gonna go with seven eggs. So I'm gonna I put the eggshells out there too. You know that? Yeah. Because it's good for the soil. Calcium. Some people said when I was doing my cooking cookie video to crack it on the counter. Crack it on flat surface. But I feel like oh. Yeah. I don't know what's it's better. just you got to learn how to how to uh, I mean if you kind of edge more into the bowl and you hit it and really for me there's a there's a membrane just on the inside of the hard part of the egg if I put my thumb in there and, and break that membrane it comes right apart Whoop. see mm -hmm. and that's 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 what I do so now I, it'll some of it will run down the side of the bowl and I have to wipe it down afterwards but let's see that's five Put my count off, fella. Six. You can count the eggs. The yolks. Six. Yolks, that's right. Seven. Don't see any eggshells in there, and that's good, right? If you did, you know what? That's just some extra calcium, right? <laughs> just extra crunchy little surprise. Let's back up. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to those uh, green bell peppers. Now, I'm going to just set these... Well, actually, I'll leave them right there until I'm ready to put them in the eggs. But as you can see, it's kind of browning these up, heating this up. Now, this says on the can that you can eat Spam cold or hot or whatever. Um, I can't imagine eating it cold. Uh, I guess if I was really, really hungry, I would. But, uh, you know, would you? No. <laughs> Unless I was desperate. Especially not after that. Han Solo uh, ham and carbonite uh, analogy. Description, yeah. That, that no. Was, you didn't like that, did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I remember uh, watching that movie, The Right Stuff, talking about the early uh, Mercury program, the astronauts, and uh, a lot of the test pilots used to talk about that, about those astronauts. And they called them, that was the joke, they called them spam in a can. <laughs> So, spam was around then too. So onions, red bell peppers, green bell peppers. I've got the I've got the spam kind of heating up. I'm gonna see how this is going. Here. Oh, it's warm. Just about ready to put our eggs in. It's kind of like the way I like to cook eggs, nice and slow. Now I'm gonna put some. Uh, do we need any, you think we need any other spices? Pepper? Pepper? Okay. Don't need salt. No. Nope. Maybe dill? Yeah. Dill, you think? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll put some dill in there too. Now, I do like dill with eggs. That is the truth. I think we're about ready here. Um, you know, one thing we, we missed was uh was the uh the rice. I forgot to make it. Oh. Um, it doesn't take long. No. All right. Why don't we come, uh, we'll come right back. I'm going to put the eggs in here in a second, okay? So we'll come right back. All right, we're back. So the rice is going. See the steam here? Mm. Mm -hmm. So the rice is cooking. I'm going to go ahead and put the, the eggs in. It's still got a little bit to go, but I'm going to go ahead and put the eggs in. So I don't, I don't like to, my, I mean, it's my technique. You can do what you, what you like, but I don't like to mix the eggs up. I always call these kind of country style eggs. Because um, I'm going to do a lot of stirring around in the bowl anyway. And I like to just put them in. Now this looks like... And then I just kind of just stir it around in the, in the pan. Get, get it all mixed in with the spam and the veggies. And I think we're going to... See as the egg starts to... Now I got it on low medium. So I want to kind of cook it slow. And that's the thing about the cast iron is, is at some point you can turn it off and it'll still continue to cook because the, the cast iron holds the heat in longer. So I just want to make sure all the spam's all mixed in with the eggs here. So this is one can of spam. Kind of keep stirring, cooking it slow. So the meats and the veggies are warm as well. That's going to help kind of cook the eggs some too. We want to put some pepper in, didn't we? Didn't that, wasn't that your special request? Yep. All right, so just 
Put a little fresh cracked pepper on the top. That's probably about an eighth of a teaspoon, maybe. And then we want to put about maybe a teaspoon of dill on here. I love dill with eggs, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotta mix it all Delicioso. Uh huh. <laughs> like a train wreck breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have to describe your food like that? What 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 should I describe it as? What would you describe it as? In this, uh, what would you describe it as? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a colorful, a spam explosion. Even that. <laughs> no, you don't like that either? No. I like all the colors, don't you? The green yeah, and the red. And all. Nice. Yeah. That's why I was thinking about that. I was going to spam and eggs, and I'm like, you know what? Just jazz it up a little bit and put some. Put some. Uh, now, when I worked in a rest in the restaurant, Bella, um, I remember the guys would talk about. Of course, they always put stuff out on the buffet, but they, when they cooked their eggs, they would always undercook them a little bit, um, because they they take them and then they put them in the pan. They put them out on the buffet, and while they're sitting out there, they would continue cooking a little bit. They would continue heating up and cooking, because if you got them completely done and put them out there, it would it, in short order they were overcooked. So. If I'm gonna, if it's gonna be a few minutes before we start to heap out, you know, servings of, of eggs, I'll typically undercook a tad um, because the eggs will 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 cook a little bit more while they're sitting in the bowl waiting to be served. So it's another little technique over the years learned. There's, there's there's not much worse than overcooked eggs, if you ask me. Burnt eggs. I've enjoyed this time with you, Bella. Yeah. Oh, the rice is done. Sweet. So the rice just popped, so it's done. Let's keep stirring. So the, the, the water's continuing to cook out of the peppers. That's what a little bit of this juice you're seeing, I think, because the eggs are cooking now. Now, you probably could throw some cheese on the top of this, too, and that would make it just, I mean, you know delicious out of the bake, you know? Yeah. I do like cheese too. Don't you like cheese? Yes. All cheese. Cheese is a gift. A gift. That is true. So, I mean, you can see the egg part of this is, is done. I mean, you see that? I mean, it, it is done. I'm just making sure. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a dish out here. I'm gonna go. Come on. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna get some of the uh, some rice out. Now I made a little extra because we're gonna do some other things with the with the leftover rice. So I made a lot of rice. So again, remember Thai custom. What do we not do? Scoop from the middle. Don't scoop from the middle. You can scoop from the side, right? So we'll get a little bit of rice here. Put that in there. That smells great. People keep asking about our dishes. Oh, the Polish pottery? Yep. Yeah, I, I wonder. I mean, maybe we ought to do a video on them. We got a whole bunch. Maybe we can kind of talk through the Polish pottery. Maybe. Think people would like that? Probably. All right, so I got just a little bit of rice on here. And then I'm going to just kind of put a big old scoop that's probably going to be mine. And just lay that right over the top of it. And that is spam and eggs. But it's jazzed up a little bit. What should we call this? Spam. The colorful, um, I don't know. Spam, Spam Palooza. Oh. <laughs> should I wait? Yeah. So it, no, it smells great. Smell that. Get the smell meter on. Give everybody a whiff of that. Wow. All right, you smell. What do you think? <laughs> 
smell good. Yeah, it does smell good, doesn't it? So I'm gonna try a little bit, I'm gonna make sure I get some spam on there and spag. Mmm. Delicious. Spam and eggs! Jazzed up for the new age. <laughs> I actually like that one. Do you? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Spam and eggs for the new age? Yeah. Oh, that's what we'll call it. That'll be our title, right? <laughs> right. Spam and eggs for the 21st century. <laughs> right. So, to Colonel and Bella, Sign with us off. for a little bit longer. Don't forget to, to like, like and subscribe, yeah. right? And right. what else? Click the little bell. The bell, right? Oh, so I bell. noticed that you can either click um, notification the bell is turn on notifications for all or just like for that specific video so you can just do all so do you all, got yes. all of Check, our videos so you know when we when we drop a new right. video right 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 all right bella thanks for your help today eh? of course hey dave appreciate y'all joining us i hope you enjoyed uh we're gonna have us some spam and eggs over rice spam for a new for the 21st century <laughs> Okay, this is us <laughs> signing off. This is the curl. Over and out. See ya. Bye, Bella. Bye.